All right. Welcome back to another episode of Sophisticated, Sophisticated Shenanigans. Shenanigans. I'm Dominique. I'm Carrie. And um, before we get started, as always, we want you to like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, rate, rate, uh, all of that good all that. stuff. All, all of that. that. Um, Sorry. I forgot to put my earrings on. <laughs> <laughs> As we hear jingling in the background. I'm like looking in the camera like, oh, where are my earrings? It's so cool. Thank you. You are too, girl. Thank you, girl. I like your new glasses. Thank you. Oh, you're so cute. Look like yeah. librarian chic. Yeah. Bring me a sexy little librarian. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta practice my grill walk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So bad. No, too bad. That's too bad. Oh, I think I could jazz it up a little bit. Absolutely <laughs> awful. Yeah, you you would have to jazz it up. I see. I Actually, know, I laugh no. like in the middle of it. It's just this is horrible. why. <laughs> It'd be awful. I, I would be terrible. At, I know I don't do that type of stuff because I, I do I am a giggle. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, like I am the oh, laugher here. I will ruin the mood immediately. <laughs> don't get me laughing too hard. I'm a snort, and it's just so many, It's just not all cute types anymore. of yeah. It's just mm -hmm. like all right, mm -hmm. let's shut this down. Yeah. Shut it down. But no, mm -hmm. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're not laughing. I'm right. Um, I just want to let let you guys know I finally did catch up on Love and Hip Hop <sighs> New York. Why are um, we talking? Don't talk about that. I don't know. I just I don't want to talk about them. I'm just saying that I caught up. Finally. There was no need to catch up. Uh, just cancel it. Cancel the whole cancel it. New York. Yeah. Just just cancel it. But if you want suggestions, bring Ja Rule and his wife. I love seeing them on the TV. You didn't watch your show? No. Oh, I liked watching Ja Rule and his family. Um, Girl, you ain't even know what they were saying R U L E. First of all, <laughs> half of America did not. So that's what you're not going to. I know. <laughs> it's trying to make me see. <laughs> like, I was the only one. T Pain. What about him? The ooh wee, and then I still have no idea what part of the song <laughs> he is talking about. I'm gonna buy you a drink and then oh, I'm gonna take you home sure. with me. I got money. In it's the because day. the reason why nobody could hear it is because he's saying, I'm gonna buy the lead voice, I'm gonna buy you a drink. Oh, oh, it's like T Pain. Of you course, we didn't much. hear it. It was in the background, <laughs> bruh. Like, why you had to tell us this? It was it was unnecessary. And then on the everybody hands go up. Mm -hmm. he oh no, I'm I'm gonna keep saying what I've been saying. What have you been saying? What everybody else was saying. What? And they stay there. No. Why? How y'all didn't hear that part though? Like I'm because he was all hype. Okay, I hands guess. up. And they stay there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just you just went in there. <laughs> And that's where we were. Okay. So yeah. that one, I guess Beyonce's baby boy. What about it? That she's saying uh, on that last line, where what is like shun da da dun dun whatever. What? I don't know. I never knew what she was saying. So what I never she's said, supposed to say? Uh, let's conceive a little angel. No, she didn't. Girl, I, I don't know. believe that one. I don't know. We gotta fact check it. I don't believe that one. We but it feels good that people um, mishear lyrics <laughs> miss like you. These lyrics, yeah, because. Don't make it the worst. For the past couple years, the only one that I had been confident in was Lloyd's. Um, <laughs> because I knew he wasn't saying she's fine too. That don't even make sense. She's fine too. Mm -hmm. Right. That makes sense with the lyrics. Right. Like, who says she's she fine, fine too? too. Why would that even be? I don't know. Like, I did think it was that, but I, I worked it out in my head. Oh, like, like this can't right. be. Came up with the can't be right. Best logical yeah. answer. Um, so me personally, artists don't correct us. Mm -mm. Just let us just, just leave it as be. Yeah, let we don't need y'all to come through and set nothing straight. Yeah, all right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. and uh, they might be wrong too, because Tamika Scott on Escape, she said she didn't even know. She's been singing the words. words were to her song. Right. And that's so. just crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, here's that. Kicking it off with <laughs> uh, that stuff. Okay, so I'll take us into the next part, which is dating. You should do this. Just oh, shimmer, shine. Yes. yes. All right, shimmer and shine is from that kid show. Oh, that's where I got it from. Yeah, that's where you got it from. Okay. It's okay. But <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't uh, bothered. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Okay, so 
I actually, um, it's so funny. So there are dating apps now, people, everybody knows. There are a lot of people, that's really the only way people date now, which is kind of weird. I mean, <laughs> I don't really go out that much to meet people because I'm always like, but that's what it is. It's just the convenience of it. Like, I guess. I don't go out a lot as you get older, so yeah. you're just like, yeah, I'm already sitting at home. Let's go ahead and meet online, get all the, you know, stuff out the way. Mm -hmm. I prefer to meet someone in person. I really would. I'm just so old school with that. Like, I prefer, like, I don't know where I would be out to meet this person, but, like, when I'm out, like, let me run into somebody who's cute and be like, oh. Girl, you want that I 90s music video. I do. <laughs> 80s, 90s music video, you add a function or whatever, and you meet somebody. That would be real cute. That is cute. Yeah. yeah. But um, anyway, so uh, something that I did not know, well, not that I did not know existed. I guess I just didn't know it was as prevalent, but I guess being in a large metro area, I should have known because that's usually where like things that don't happen in smaller areas happen. Mm -hmm. So on the dating apps sometimes if you're say looking for a male looking for a female mm -hmm. um you may find someone who is so me female looking for a male um a girl would pop up and so you'll be like what why is the girl on here so then you swipe through mm -hmm. and it's a couple looking for a third so it's actually called because I actually looked into some of the um bios and stuff like that and it came up saying they're looking for their unicorn is it you know you could be our unicorn and all is a you a, re a relationship unicorn is somebody who is um a person who joins a couple as their third partner mm -hmm. for sex or even something more committed they're just looking for a third party mm -hmm. they might want to be you know a three a, a thruple <laughs> thruple yeah okay. um <clears throat> so essentially you know now, they, the reason why it's called a unicorn is because unicorns are mythical creatures, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So to find a third who would be a perfect match is kind of hard to yeah. find. So uh, I'm pretty worried. You have to match both people. Yeah, you have to match both, <laughs> which can be difficult. So <laughs> Sorry, I have to match one person. <laughs> right. Hello. 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 Uh, so yeah, um, um, but they say that online dating has helped uh, connect unicorns with couples more easily. And there's actually an app for seeking out a unicorn relationship. So if anybody wants to uh, join a twosome, help them become a throuple. Okay. Uh, and it's called Field, F-E-E-L-D. Um, and it's pretty interesting to me because I found a article on glamour.com um, and they actually talk about it. It was uh, published April 12, 2017. Could you be a relationship unicorn? Try asking yourself these questions. Okay. So the questions are, um, would you be okay? Let's see. Number one, what am I looking for? What am I really looking for? Hmm. So in that case, am I trying to be their, you know, third as in just a sexual thing? Or am I looking to engage with, you know, a woman, maybe try it for the first time? That's not how you're going to get into a, you know, that's not how you become a real unicorn. Yeah. Uh, because you're basically, you're in a relationship with both people. So if you want to just try and see how a girl is, you probably wouldn't want to do it in that case yeah. uh, because they're looking for something very specific. Yeah. Like, they don't need a pillow princess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want someone who might be a little experienced. <laughs> they want someone experienced, so. right. Uh, on the female side. <laughs> I don't know too many men who would probably uh, be okay with joining a unicorn a thing. Mm, um, I wouldn't think one so. girl and two guys. So that's interesting. Um, another question is, am I uncomfortable with communicating my sexual needs, desires, and boundaries? If you are not if you are not comfortable with that, you don't need to be trying. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, because you're if you you're gonna be out here just being a waste of time. Yeah, so, you're gonna be a wet blade. Just uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not gonna speak up. I, I volunteer for this, but I'm not gonna speak up. Right, like, right. Yeah. And, yeah. and the couple, that's no. Yeah, that's not what they're looking that's for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do I have any reservations about participating in this type of sex? Because it is two people, opposite sex. One, At least one of the people is going to be the opposite, opposite sex. Right. So that's another reason why I would think a male would not be so keen on doing it. Um, Unless this is a bisexual. I mean, even if they're... I mean, some guy... Okay. So we'll, we'll <laughs> divert this. Uh, family members who watch this... <laughs> Stop now. Fast forward. Stay <laughs> I know you're going to be tempted to continue 
watching it. Don't watch this part. Please stop. Please stop. I don't want to discuss this in person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Just stop here. I'll, I'll maybe even put something in the editing to yeah. show you where you need to where start come back. listening again. Um, so. <laughs> I feel like they're still going to watch it. They are going to watch it. Stop watching, okay? Do not watch this. <laughs> Don't go Don't any go further. Don't go any further. Just stop. Skull and crossbones. Stop. We love you. We love you. Stop. stop. Don't watch this. Stop. <laughs> okay, so my issue. <laughs> And in my mind, I'm like, I'm not sure I want to say this <laughs> just because I know you're still watching it. But we're all adults. <laughs> we are all adults. We're almost 30. <laughs> we're all adults here. If you have continued watching Family Member, that's on you. Please don't bring it up at any point time. <laughs> that includes you, Maddie. That's it. Who is don't calling me right now? Don't bring it back. No, up. girl. Don't don't bring it up again. Okay. I'm gonna decline your call. Oh, I'm calling you back later. Oh, please don't. Please don't bring it. Bring it back up. So, my issue in porn, mm -hmm. I, I always feel uncomfortable when it's two guys and one girl. I do. I feel pretty uncomfortable because I read a book. Long time ago, back when all the sexy books was like a thing that everybody was reading. Uh, it was about a woman having a threesome, and and about how one guy put in her butt, the, <laughs> the other one put in her vagina, and they could feel each other as they were moving, which makes sense because there's only a yeah. thin, uh, a very thin, very thin space. space. Um, so for me, I always feel a little. Oh, when I see boy. that in porn, because I'm just like, mm, you guys, they you guys are just <laughs> <laughs> you're in a bowl, you're giving him <laughs> sensation. Like you're not you're, getting all the sensation from me. Your balls are chafing. Because <laughs> you know the hair. I mean, so just, they might be yeah, touching, just changing. But you know, and oh, so nice. in those types of porn scenes, I always feel a bit uncomfortable because I think about that. So if you are a man. And you are joining a couple in their, if you're going to be their unicorn, you have to be okay with that. You do. So essentially, you cannot have any reservations about the type of uh, What if sex. the man that's joining the unicorn mm -hmm. wants to penetrate the main man? Is he going to be, like, how I mean, that no, you have to have the conversation. That's the point of this article. Okay, so the point of this article is that Things need to be we, said. Yes. Okay. The point is, if you're going to be a unicorn and somebody else's couple, you need to be sure that you guys are having open, honest communication about what you're okay with, yeah. what you want, what you do not want. If you don't want that man, if Joe come up behind you, and he come, <laughs> oh, he come up behind you, you're not ready. Right, you're going to be ready to throw the hands. Right. And Joe's going to be thoroughly confused uh -huh. as to what happened. Here, right, so, yeah. right. Yeah. So that was the pretty uh, interesting um, thing that I found. So I just thought that was pretty cool because, I mean, basically when I saw the phrase um, on the bio, I was like, what, is, what the hell is a unicorn? Like, why, what are you talking about? So I just Googled it. And then, boom, there was an article. So that was very interesting for you to, very daring for you to move like, <laughs> I try to be careful when I write certain things into Google oh, now. Oh, I put it in incognito. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want anybody to go back through my uh, my search history and be like, Kara, what Just is she into? Coming up when you Google certain words. Honestly, parts. I'm telling you. We were watching something, I can't remember, it was just a regular movie. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a porno or anything. Mm -hmm. And it said something about... Um, golden showers, we all know what that yeah. is. Um, and then it said Roman shower. A Roman shower? Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck is a Roman shower? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I googled it. Uh huh. It's when people like to be thrown up on. Oh. Um, yeah. Thrown, just, just thrown up on. Yeah. And like just in a sexual capacity, like you're having sex and someone just throws up on you. You get sexual gratification from this. So that is a Roman shower. One must be paid to do this because, I mean, it's just so many things. I'm just like, okay, not approved, not approved, yeah, not approved. But there are things I'm not doing. I'm not peeing on you. On I'm not throwing up on you. Yeah. Like no, and things that I will not do to you. Oh, okay, yeah. Because for me, once I throw up, I'm I'm not happy if I'm throwing up. I don't throw up often. Yeah, I was never a good it's, thing it's when I'm throwing up. always yeah. bad when I'm throwing up. So, okay, I'm not, I'm 
not pooping on you either. I don't know if family members came back. You probably never left. Please go. <laughs> to this particular <laughs> So you know like when women squirt, mm -hmm. they do say there's a bit of urine. I still don't know if it. I believe that. I'm sorry. But you do have that sensation of having to you pee. Do have so it kind of makes yeah, well, it's not all urine, but there is I mean, some in there. I said in order to get there, you do have to push, like you have to pee. Well, so. that's true. Mm, that's I just, don't know. But I mean, I can't like just not be, you know, like hey, just stand over me, pee on me. I can't. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I a, I can't pee standing up anyway. <laughs> I can I can't <laughs> pee have you tried squatting this? over the um, oh, when yeah, I don't want to like when I've tried it because when I like. Women's porta restaurants potties. are disgusting. Yeah, they are. Porta potties are filthy. I mean, I refuse to go to porta potties. I remember that day you held yeah. it all day. I mean, like, who does we that? We were outside at an event all day. It's an outside <laughs> event. I was like, I'm holding my pee. I'm I not peeing in a porta potty. I couldn't do it. It, it was, yeah, I know. It, it was difficult. It was difficult, but I, I made it through. Imagine that. I'm pretty sure I watched some scary movie at some part that like ruined it for me. I always, always imagine someone's gonna reach out and just like, grab me <laughs> out of the porta potties, and then it's, <laughs> I don't know where this comes from, but it would potentially be the president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> he does like to grab them. He by does the grab list. women by the hoo ha. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. disgusting. Yeah. But yeah. Mm. So yeah, so family members, you can come back now. I think we're done. Uh, if you we ever, ever left. left, though, Jesus, <laughs> now this is going to be an awkward conversation. I mean, it's not going to be a conversation. We are not talking about it. That's it. We let you watch because we love you. Uh, we want you to support us, but no mas. No conversation. Oh, it's a sign that says welcome back. Yes, family exactly. <laughs> but, uh, well, we wanted to talk about news. Maybe family members just shouldn't watch this episode at all. Yeah, maybe not. Just maybe not. <laughs> yeah, like, this episode is not for you. Not for you. <laughs> but news. Um... Oh, okay, news. Mm. Mm. All right, so this is a thing for people. For people know, nowadays. The sending of nudes. But I guess my question would be, what is the purpose of sending nudes? Is it a form of full like foreplay like this is a preview of what you're gonna get kind of kind of thing that's how i see it i don't see it as flirting if i'm flirting with you you're not gonna see my boobs in a message like and i don't need to if we're flirting i don't need to see your penis in a message yeah. like especially unsolicited <laughs> definitely my aunt, just send it no my aunt asked me carrie why do you not have your air drop on because y'all don't even I, just be sending me stuff exactly no. i don't need nobody she was like well you can decide if you want to um accept it or not no but it still pops up on my screen yeah, whatever's being airdropped like absolutely not no sir no ma'am mm -mm. don't be sending me no unsolicited pictures of yourself and i'm not gonna solicit them anyway if i want to see you i'm gonna see you in mm -hmm. person there we in go. person so, so um you know, we were watching a show and the guy was like him and this woman. Whoa, whoa, Jeez, oh, 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 bring that back, bring take it too. Him and this woman who was not his wife were exchanging, uh, you know, essentially nudes and that he didn't consider that cheating or that he didn't feel like that was touching in a, I don't know, what was the explanation? I didn't watch it, you told me. Oh, uh, he just felt, I guess he felt like that was okay. Um. But it's like, I feel like his wife really did have a reason to be upset because if you're sending news, that's a, this is what you're going to get. This mm -hmm. is, it's a preview mm -hmm. of what you're about to get or what you're going to get. I agree. So you, to me, you send nudes with the intent to have sex with the person who is receiving I agree. said nudes. I agree. Um, uh, apparently some men do not agree with this. They do not think that that is what that is. Yeah. I don't know if it's like just trying to cover for the guys or whatever, you know, cause you know, dudes tend to cape for each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, <they do. laughs> so, but for me, no, that's never like, if you might mean, yeah, if you, you might, might, I mean, might you get it all the time anyway. No, 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 no. No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh. I'm saying if you're my man and you're receiving news, oh. there's a problem. Yeah, no, there's definitely um, a problem. And I'm there not, will be... I'm never going to be okay Hella issues. Hella. Between me and you. If I see 
Just yeah. don't do it. No, okay. I, I'm here with you on that. Don't um, do it. Please don't do it. Because <laughs> it ain't going to work out in your favor. There's no excuse that you can tell me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's going to get me to be like, oh, okay, babe. But this is an interesting thing, though. I wonder if men would be okay with their women sending nudes in a playful. They were not. I was just playing, baby. It was, we were it was just, just flirting. We I'm just playing. It's okay. Like, fuck no. Bruh, I've been Absolutely with your girl whole stuff. So, mm -hmm. same thing. Yeah. Don't do it. I mean, just don't do it. Like, I just feel like it's just, it, and to me, it brings unnecessary whatever nissness into the yeah. relationship. Because if we're in a relationship, you're getting news from someone else. Someone else felt comfortable enough to send you news. Exactly. So, what is so the previous what conversation? Girl. Sure. Eh? What was the what, eh? What's the previous conversation? Cause ain't nobody just gonna be like, hey, hey how hey, you so doing? Myself. You want nudes? Like, like, nah. Very rarely. Yeah. That would that be ain't. out of the blue. Like, yeah. Never happen. Mm -hmm. If she, so. especially she respectable or whatever. Like, and ain't no dude. Who, well, I mean, dudes. They just do. They really do. Just uh, be. This is just so aggressive. They are. Just, just, just be like, hey, look at me. I don't just really like, see it. Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? I mean, really. Now that you've said it, what are we doing with I mean, this? Honestly, the only time, I mean, there's, to me, and I guess maybe this is just me too. Um, Sorry, I spit a little bit. I didn't see it. No, oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but the only time, yes, family members, go away. Just, Please just go turn away. it off. Turn Please. it off. Turn it off. Um, for me, uh, <laughs> the only time that I would need to see your penis again on film would be if I've seen it in person before. Right. I really don't and want, I want to see, I want it, to see it again. Like, like, I missed it or something. <laughs> like, hey. Hey. I missed it. <laughs> it's been a minute since we've kicked it. Oh, God. Missed it, little buddy there on there. Don't you, you know... What you send me? But you gotta be careful. I don't I'm miss sorry. you. I miss, I miss him. Him. He is my not you. friend. Not you. You were trash. <laughs> but him, we was cool. We was cool, <laughs> bruh. That's the homie. Right. Like, what is he up to this day? <laughs> Ooh, that's hilarious. Yeah. I love that. I mean, and again, I think, um, I, don't, I feel like if you're in a relationship with somebody, yes, that's mm -hmm. that's cool. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's like, it's nice to be like, look what you're about to come home to. You yeah. know, like you can find mm -hmm. ways to, yeah, to just to do, do it. it. Whatever. But if it's a complete stranger mm -hmm. or somebody that you quote unquote have no intentions on having sex with, mm -hmm. what Why is the purpose of sending nudes? Mm -hmm. So it's just. Remember, we're on the same page. Yeah. And but, if you disagree, uh, please feel like we, you know, we on the wrong page. You, you know how to justify nude sending? Please hey, let, us know. let me know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just like porn to them. It's just new porn. Maybe just more exciting because you actually it's, know this person. Right. So, maybe. Mm, yeah, mm, that's, a, that's an interesting uh, you know, standpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no one's just getting hard. <laughs> 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 gears a little bit because mm -hmm. I've seen that you have that post which I did bookmark as well mm -hmm. with the um positive affirmation this is a girl I know um and she does have a blog it's called just Dupree the blog um and I'll put the link up but um she does have this post here about loving yourself positivity you know mm -hmm. all of that daily affirmations so did you want me to read that for me? Um, no, just oh. that they would be nice. You know, that's something I think that people should start doing more if they mm -hmm. aren't doing them. Mm -hmm. um, and just battling with the negative self thoughts. Mm -hmm. Because not all negative um, thoughts or comments or anything are coming from outside. Sometimes it's definitely coming oh from within things that maybe you've heard along the way or you just noticed about yourself, insecurities about yourself that kind of knit at you. It's just, you know, learning how to combat those with um 
you know, uh, nice affirmations. Yeah, definitely. Because um, I saw something. I can't find it right now. But it's basically you. I don't know. For some people like me, I'm very ambitious. I want a lot of things in my life. I want to do like a lot with my life so the negative self-talk self-talk definitely creeps in because i'm like i'm not doing enough i need to do more i need to get this by then i need to do you know so it can sort of drive you crazy um internally and so i think um i saw something saying that basically the love that we give to others mm -hmm. we have to remember that we need to love ourselves just as much like yes. <clears throat> so I think the issue is is that sometimes we forget that we are important to mm -hmm. ourselves so um that's basically what the the tweet or whatever it was was talking about is that you must remember to tell yourself that you love yourself and give yourself positive words mm -hmm. of encouragement and all that from yourself because you can't always get it in the way that you need it from outside right. and i think part of that comes from you know growing up you always hear don't be so selfish. Mm -hmm. Don't be so selfish. Mm -hmm. Don't be so selfish. Don't, be about yourself. Don't just think all about yourself. Right. You know, kind of. Because children are terrible with doing that, but that's the only them they, you know. Right. That's all they know. I mean, they are only really responsible for, for themselves. themselves. Yeah. And they're going to do exactly. what makes them happy. So I think some t somewhere mm -hmm. between societal norms mm -hmm. and it's just boring. everything, it's just you hear selfishness, selfishness, mm -hmm. and it's portrayed as a bad thing mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. that for us, it's mm -hmm. like, well, yeah, so and so needs me to do this, mm -hmm. but I really don't want to. Well, you're being very selfish, right? Because right. you're not. It's a way of you're not getting it out there. Yeah, and it's like, no, it's okay for me to say no mm -hmm. to help someone out or to do something because I need a break. Like, All right. And I'm the queen of that. Someone told me. Mm -hmm. They said the way you have to start thinking about things is when someone asks you to do something, someone asks you to go somewhere. <clears throat> You have to think, okay, what am I going to have to give up mm -hmm. for this to happen? Mm -hmm. What am I going to have to change in my daily life mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. for me to help you? Mm -hmm. And if you, because you're going to have to sacrifice something. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like that's a good, you know, and I can sacrifice this. Sacrifice. Yeah. Then yes, do it. But don't just always jump into something blindly like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Right. And then, you know, yeah. realize you're not yeah. having enough time for yourself. Right, right in the end so it's it's a part of self-care yeah and, definitely uh, definitely self-care isn't always manicures facials although those stuff is a nice right buying right. yourself an outfit and stuff it's it's mental spiritual emotional right all that good stuff. right because i mean as well guilt shame all that stuff mm -hmm. uh listen to the uh super soul sunday yeah, with, with Oprah and what's that Brene Brown. Brene Brown. Amazing, by the way yeah Marvel. i mean really the super soul sunday Ooh, series uh if you don't listen to those i would say like Jojo, shout out to Jolene. Woo woo. <laughs> she um actually brought those to my attention. A few moments later. Hmm. Well, who knows when the hell was like. <laughs> <laughs> Camera didn't stop, goddamn recording out of the blue. That's some technical difficulties. Uh, technical difficulties. I think it's actually raining. That's why that wind blowing like that. No, that's why the camera stopped too. Yeah. Yeah, then. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, uh, yeah. We, I hope we were mentioning Brene Brown and I don't Sunday so. Souls. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think so. All right. Shit, I'm done. Uh, okay, what else you want? <laughs> what else you want to talk about? It. If it made it, we'll go back some other time. I don't. I don't have anything else. No, okay. On here, I feel like we conquered uh, everything on the list of sist. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, hopefully uh, it didn't. Shenanigans. Hopefully it didn't end too abruptly. It may have. Uh, I mean, shit happens. Yeah, at least we didn't just go black like the end of what Sopranos lost one of them shows. Uh, some, some yeah, one of them shows. Sopranos. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was Lost. No, Lost didn't. Lost told you that the people were all dead the whole time. <gasps> oh my God! Spoiler alert! That show has been on. <laughs> For a billion years it's been off for a billion years it don't matter i actually um we watched lost for the longest me and my family and then we stopped uh, because it was just getting too crazy it was and then and i, I never just picked it back up. nope never picked it back up and then just was like well somebody told what happened i was like well that sounds about right i, I, I think, think they were dead yeah i think i, I saw them like uh season three 
It was just, I think that was the year the writers went on some kind of strike, and you can definitely tell in the work, my lord. Um, well, yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, that's, that was it. Um, Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, rate. Rate. Yeah. I'm gonna get it one day. All that jazz. All that. I'm connected um, to myself. Are we not all supposed to be connected to ourselves? In all this right. Room? Okay. That's enough. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see, see you guys next have time. A good day. Bye. Bye.